Aquarius, Aquarius, what is going on, you guys? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Back at it again and let you know what the energies are surrounding you for mid-month March. March the 15th through the 31st. Shout out to all of you guys who've been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my page. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Make sure you hit this like button if the video resonates with you. If you would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by going to my About page, okay? That's a hyperlink link at the bottom it's a pretty blue link that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again that's scorpion reds tarot at simply book me okay if this video resonates and if you would like to leave, uh, leave a love donation a dollar or two you can feel free to do so there's a description for my paypal there's a link for my paypal in the description so real quick all uh, right if you guys have been cross watching or watching the other readings as you know i as promised i said Thanks to your love donations and you guys booking um, the private readings that you've been booking, I've been able to take that money and put it back into the page. So I ordered these three new decks. And as you've seen last, in the beginning of the month, I did bonus readings for the top viewed signs. So whichever uh, signs are the top viewed signs will be getting a bonus reading with these Alice in Wonderland decks and the Rebel deck. This deck is hilarious as hell. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> honey, if you think my mouth foul, I think that deck has a fouler mouth than me, honey. But anyway, <laughs> so you guys love Alice in Wonderland like I do. It was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite childhood movies. I cannot wait to break this open and use these cards. So I'm going to wait and I'm going to be patient and I'm going to hold off. Ooh, even though I really want to use these for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, but I said I was going to wait for the bonus. So I'm going to wait for the bonus, you guys. I'm going to wait for the bonus, okay? We're going to see who gets to use these cards for their bonus read. And hopefully it is a quarrel. So it's a quarrel. Come on, quarrel. All right. So let's get into the prayer, shall we? All right. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for bringing love, light, laughter, hope, prosperity, freedom, happiness, and prosperity into our life, Father God. Thank you so much for uplifting and elevating Aquarius. Thank you so much for putting down and kicking out anything that we need in our life, Father God. Thank you so much for shedding light and illuminating the greatness that we are. Helping us to pour that self-love into ourselves, and just <laughs> pouring out that love out into the universe. And everything that we deserve is coming back to us slowly but surely. And I thank you so much, Father God. Please give the sign of Aquarius love, light, and abundance and guidance for mid-March, March the 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much for all the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Aquarius guidance. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father. All right. I looked at this deck first, so let's do it. Start off with love. We gonna start off with love. We gonna start off with love. Come on. Father God, please give me guidance for Aquarius. Thank you so much. Mid-month, March. 15th through the 31st. I just had a quick sharp pain in my neck. Now some of y'all experiencing neck pain. Some of y'all experiencing neck pain. The spring. At my ear. Mm. Mm. feel like okay I feel like last spring what are you saying something happened last spring mm, mm, okay so last spring I think something happened last spring Something happened last spring that you'll never forget. I think last spring is when somebody came into your life that kind of turned your life upside down. I feel like this person, this person, when they first came around, you felt admired. You felt loved. You felt like this person was giving. 
only to find out that this person was battling with like a dark night of the soul energy and not only that but they pulled you down into that energy too and right now you're on a point where you're fighting and you're coming out of that i feel like you had to go and dig down to the darkness within yourself to even see how you even attracted someone like that into your life last spring and now it's like you're admiring your bro your growth you're admiring your process the fact that you were able to dig deep and you are able to look at this situation the way that you truly should look at it that it's a message and it was a lesson to truly get you to admire yourself and not look for that admiration for nobody but Aquarius is just like they don't really be tripping off nobody for real for real anyway but it's like you know when they like somebody they like somebody but it's like you know I don't need love to come in my life to help me paint a, paint a picture of happiness you know I feel like Aquarius they felt like they needed love and commitment to help them to paint a perfect picture of happiness. But, you know, Aquarius realized I don't need commitment and love, a picture of love to help me paint that picture of happiness. I'm committed to myself and I love myself and I'm my, my muse. I am my muse. I am my muse. I am admired by myself. I admire myself. I'm painting this picture of a better me. That's who I'm committed to. You know, I don't feel that Aquarius is tripping on looking for commitment from somebody else when they can paint their own picture. It was like a pride and ego thing. You know, they had to release that pride and ego. They, it, it was something like they had to destroy. I feel like Aquarius was either operating out of their pride and ego and a lot of, they were attracting a lot of undesirable people to them and all of the people that they were attracting they were operating out of their pride and ego and Aquarius had to come through and destroy that excuse me Aquarius had to come through and destroy operating out of their pride and ego it had to elevate above that you know and really it was just it it was like a character flaw almost. I, I, I feel like it's like a big ego type of thing. Like in, in regards to everything that you did or it was, I don't know, just like your ego and your pride came into play with a lot of things. It was just like, whereas though you could have been a bigger person and something, it's like this person ain't talking to me. I ain't talking to them. And it's like you could have been a mature person and just put your pride and your ego aside. And, you know, I felt like. That pride and ego got in the way of a lot of things. And now y'all are not operating out of that. Y'all had to destroy that. And y'all had to elevate. Elevate over that. Y'all had to elevate. And right now y'all are surrendering to the changes that, you know, the world and the universe have brought into your life. Y'all surrendering and not so much trying to control everything. I feel like almost. I feel like Aquarius has to have a certain level of control <laughs> you know what i'm saying in in regards to their environment and they're just like man i'm not i'm not looking for nobody to admire me or to not nah, i admire myself i love myself and because i love myself that love vibration is going to bring that love back to me i had to learn that stop looking at people and be committed to myself and committed to this change and surrender myself to this change. But commitment is right in the center of that spread. That commitment, that's what I'm seeing. And I feel like that commitment is coming. You just had to, you had to deal with the stuff from last spring. You're not taking action. To thinking man in reverse. Hmm. I feel like this. Alright. I feel like there's some Libra men. I mean. 
Libra men. Okay. Okay. There's an Aquarius woman that's dealing with a Libra man. And they're, and they're thinking about not taking action in regards to this shit. They want to stop thinking about this man. And want to focus on healing their heart. And they just want to focus on healing their heart. Because continuous, continuously thinking about this man. And every time that you took action trying to fix that situation. It was blocking you getting to your true path. And it was blocking your door to spirit. I feel like God was sending you messages. They were trying to send blessings to you that you overlooked that you passed by. And now you're focusing on healing your heart. You're focusing on your heart. You're focused on self-love. You're not about to allow nobody to block your blessings. You're not about to allow nobody to come in your energy and distract you. And, you know, it's like you taking too long to think about what you want to do. I can help you. I can just not take no action with you and I'm going to work the fuck on myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not looking for you to admire me. Like, you, you thinking about it? What the fuck is there to think about? Either you fuck with me or you don't. I ain't even got to paint this picture with you. I'm going to be committed to myself. All right? I'm good. Because I need this. No. Mm-mm. And not taking action. And not moving forward with this person. This person thought too long. Study long, study wrong. Study long, study wrong. You took too long. You made the wrong move. I'm choosing myself. I'm surrendering to changing myself and being committed to myself. I was blocking getting to my true path, to my true destiny. Spirit has been telling me this this whole time and I wasn't listening. And I feel like Aquarius intuition knew that. Knew that. And some of y'all are dealing with a leap of male or, or female. Please give me overall guidance in regards to mid-month. Three of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. All right. We celebrating. <laughs> I know I know some Aquariuses that like to go out and celebrate a party and have some drinks. So that's definitely my Aquariuses. Yes. <laughs> yes, Aquarius. Yes, you go out there and celebrate. <laughs> okay. Did you just like look? I know I may take a yeah. Ha, ha, ha. What? What? Let me say something. Aquarius is like, look. I just want to be single. I, I really do feel like Aquarius wants to be single right now. And they just want to mingle and go out and have a good time and celebrate. They're not worried about this shit. They're not worried. And they're glad that they stopped taking action. They're happy that they stopped taking action. They got more time to focus on being with their friends. They got more time to focus on their self. Like they are really painting the picture that they really want. They just want 2019 to be a good ass goddamn time. They tired of being miserable. They tired of feeling hopeless. They tired of looking for somebody to show them love and appreciation. It's just like, man, bro, like... I got family that love me. I got friends that love me. I got friends that think I'm awesome and shit, bruh. On oh God. Like I like I feel like ever since Aquarius went got back to them and start enjoying their life and reconnecting with their family and friends and people that really do love them. They've been having so much time. They ain't even paying attention to the fact that there is a night coming to you with something solid. It might have took this person a minute to come to you because you had to clean up your environment, honey. You had to clean up your environment. Mm -hmm. You had to stop thinking about that man that was taking too long. That was taking too long. It was too wrong for you and your situation. You didn't even realize this shit. You was out partying, having a good ass time, parlaying with your girls like, hey, bitch, yeah. <laughs> and then some dude gonna roll up to you in the bar like, hey, what's good? Looking beautiful. Like, y'all having a lot of fun. What's your birthday or something like that? You'll be like, nah, it's not my birthday. We just out celebrating. We just, we living our best life. You know, we, 2019 has been amazing for me. I just really been enjoying my life. And this person be like, yeah, you you do look like you enjoy. Let me buy you something. Did you eat something? You want something to eat? What's going on? What's going on? And y'all just going to sit down and talk. 
Y'all going to sit there and talk. And you going to really, really, really be like, you know what? Maybe all of this, maybe all of the stuff that I went through made a lot of good sense. Because at the end of the day, that person I was dealing with in the past, this person was vindictive. This person was... Just like to play mind games. I wasn't going to win in this situation. This person was just willing to feed me whatever the hell I wanted to hear. Just as long as they was winning in the situation. And it might have took me a while. Because I was blinded to it. You know. It really. I was confused. You know. But. I'm glad that I cut this person out of my life. Because I wasn't going to win in this. And I'm glad I dropped my swords. It wasn't worth the fight. It wasn't. It Like it. It seriously was not worth the fight. Mm -mm. Not when you got true love coming. <laughs> Honey, thank God that you <gasps> went out and had a good time with your friends and you started celebrating and enjoying your life and started loving yourself because the fact that you put them swords down and stopped fighting in a situation... That you realize was a losing battle because this motherfucker was a piece of shit. You won. Because the whole time they didn't even see that butterfly right there at the tip of your sword. You was like <laughs> the Red Queen off with his head. Cut that bitch head right the fuck on off and you end up you ended up walking right into true love and true commitment. Girl. Let's get some direct guidance and love for Aquarius. Come on, Father. Come on, true. Come on, true. Like you knew. Father God, please give me that. Oh, yes. Release your ex, girl. Release your ex, boy. Release your ex, baby. Release that crusty butthole. Release them. Calling your soulmates. Okay? The one with the pinnacle. The one of one of the animals. And thank you. Okay? Connie sold me. No chemistry flirt. And okay, listen. Of course. Aquarius. I need you to step your pussy up. Come on, girl. Come on. And for my Aquarius man, I need y'all to step it up. Y'all know when y'all get out there and y'all be... In y'all celebratory mode, y'all be good. But you need to release your ex. You need to call in your soulmates. Do a few interviews. See who is really into you, baby. But you can't do that. If you are just like non-charismatic, you ain't flirting. You don't give off an energy like a flirty, approachable energy. You don't have a playful, approachable... Like, I feel like y'all are, y'all are, like... Y'all coming off really dry, really still. Like, y'all don't... Like, y'all just, like, maybe y'all communication dry. Like, I don't know. Like, what is going on? We need some moisturizer. We need some moisture. We need moisture. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. We need some moisture. That is just real dry and crispy. I don't like that. Why is that so dry, crispy, Father? Father, give some guidance in regards to this love. Why is that so dry, crispy over there? Why are they so dry and crispy? Ah! You dry and crispy because... You don't really... Y'all want to work on shit? <laughs> you don't want to work on shit, but you trying to let go. Like, you trying to let go. And you don't think this Knight of Pentacles really got nothing to offer you? Why? If you... Of course, I feel like y'all are being pessimistic. Y'all being pessimistic. Y'all y'all irritating. Why y'all being irritating? Of course, why is you being irritating right now? Of course. <laughs> Aquarius, y'all funny as shit, bruh. 
<laughs> ah, I'm like Aquarius. Like, why is you being so dry right now? You just like, cause I don't want to work on nothing with this person. Okay, I don't know. I'm feeling like some third party bullshit going on behind this shit. I don't know. I'm just feeling like I don't like this person. All right, I'm trying to let go. I am trying to let go, but at the same time, I'm dead ass sleep on these niggas out here. I don't know. I don't know about this nigga. I feel like this nigga's some bullshit. I feel like this nigga like a low-key broke-ass nigga. I don't know. Like, why it took so long for him to come and say something to me? He just was standing there looking at me and shit. And he coming over there to me to a peach plumber pair. Bitch, where's some dollars at? Get your broke-ass out of here. No. Of course, like, I don't like him. <laughs> of course. Look. Of course, like, don't be coming over here with no peach plumber pair. Okay, don't be coming over here with no peach palm or no damn plate. Okay? It ain't nothing but dollars out here. Pinnacles, pinnacles, pinnacles. Okay? Pinnacles, pinnacles. <laughs> Y'all say, I don't know who the fuck this earth sign is. This Taurus, this Virgo, or this goddamn Capricorn, but... Mm -mm. I need that dough right me for so lotty dough. <laughs> My true divine masculine. I need that dough, right? Me fossil so latte dough. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you like, I'm not just about to be numbing myself with any old goddamn body. I need my divine masculine. Okay. I need something that's going to add up to that dough, right? Do, dough, right? Me fossil so latte dough. I'm not numbing myself up with just anything, girl. No. Okay. They're like, rats, don't be trying to tell me to take this one to bed. I'ma put you to bed. They're like, no. This just dry pussy. This, mm -mm. nope. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. We ain't about to do it. Okay, so okay, of course you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. Okay. So let's guess. Let's find out what's going on with you and this accent calling in your soulmate. Then, honey, I ain't, I ain't about to. Okay, but you gonna have to, you gonna have to put some moisture on this. You gonna have to. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to put some moisture on this, Aquarius. we going to. And I ain't telling you to numb yourself. Okay? Feel like you just numbing yourself with anyone before you're divine. That, I, no, 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 no. I ain't telling you to do that, baby. Don't do that. What, what, what? what? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Girl, if you... Mm. Spirit is telling you, look, if you do not stop online stalking your fucking ex, okay, I feel like either you or your ex is still going back looking at what each other is doing on the internet or whatever. Y'all got friends that are, you know, probably mutual friends or something like that. And you be borrowing your friend phones, you know, looking through your, you know, your ex-girlfriend page or whatever, your ex-boyfriend page or whatever. Like, this Aquarius man be like, man, her booty still fat as fuck. God damn, man. That motherfucker pussy was wet, man. Splash mountain, bruh. Like, oh my God, I ain't even... Oh, <sighs> brother. Ain't nobody said that there another the way she said that there another. I swear nobody said it like I ain't nobody said it. Listen, the Aquarius man is going back. Look at that like, God damn, that was a big booty, Judy. Ain't nobody said that there another the way she did. He can't get over the past, honey. He can't get over the past. That's why spirit is saying, Aquarius, you need to let go of your past and you need to call it your soulmate, honey. That ain't the only person with a fat booty. I feel like, listen, listen me, listen me, listen me. Y'all need to let this shit go, baby. Y'all, okay, y'all need to let that go. Y'all need, y'all, listen. Stop looking at what your ex is doing. This is the five of cups in reverse. You finally stepping out of this phase where you are like cyber stalking the fuck out of your ex and turning around and seeing what's ahead of you you know what i'm saying so i'm glad that you realize that this is something that you need to stop doing because it's keeping you connected to that energy and this is someone that's just thinking about you and ain't not making no movement and you do got people coming towards you, you i mean you're gonna meet somebody at the bar being a fucking star you're gonna meet somebody at the bar Hmm. Give me guidance. 
Aquarius for when he or she turn around and go downtown like Judy Brown. Okay? Please give me Aquarius guidance and regards to calling in a soulmate. Thank you so much. What's it say? You know, you don't be trying to compromise. You need, you need to, you don't be trying to compromise with people. I feel like you be wanting shit your way, Aquarius, and you need to be, you need to be able to, and, and, and nobody's telling you to be submissive. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, okay, okay, ain't nobody telling you to be submissive. But in a relationship, you have to compromise. Okay, you have to compromise. You can't be in control of everything. All right. And I'm glad that you are finally letting those ropes around your wrist and you're not feeling a victim anymore. That's why they, you know, you said over here, I am trying to let go. I am trying to let go. But this motherfucker just ain't got no money. I feel like this is a broke motherfucker. <laughs> you are letting go of feeling a victim, victim and you are turning around and looking at what's ahead of you. And that's why there is going to be an offer coming to you. I just want you to be able to open up and receive it. You can't receive it being having this dry ass personality. Like, come on now. Like, what, what, what's going on with that? Come on now. We're not doing that. Your family is the center of your heart right now. I feel like you are feeling numb right now. You just focusing on your family. You are just focusing on your family right now, Aquarius. Let me see what we got right here. And we about to hurry up and wrap this up. But listen, you need to you need to just go out and have fun. Go out and celebrate. Start smiling more. Start enjoying yourself more. Because when people see you in that element, that's when someone's gonna come and uh, walk up to you. Cause just right now, because of this love situation, you 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 don't have no playful spirit with you. You're not passionate about nothing. You ain't got no chemistry. You ain't flirty. Come on now. That's just, come on. You can't just focus only on family. You gotta, you gotta have some fun too. What is this? It says release your power. Release your power, okay? So this is what Spirit is telling you. You are allowing something that don't even deserve your energy to have too much power over you. And you are like a very smart individual. That's the alchemist chick. She got the alchemist codes and stuff on her dress. And only very super smart. It was like a secret society of people that even knew how to crack those alchemist codes or even understand those language. So not everybody understand your language, boo. I get you. Now everybody understand your language and I understand that you just not attracted to just any old body. And that's why you like, I'm not just about to be numbing myself with any goddamn body. I ain't out here off no neighborhood pussy shit. What the fuck you think? No, bitch. I ain't no horror. Okay? Girl. No. No. But listen, you need to release your power. You need to whatever this element, whatever this person, whoever this is, you need to release that power that this person has, you understand, over you and even being able to affect your decisions, you know? Because once you release this ex, you're going to be more flirty. You're going to get your playfulness back because I'm like, Aquarius is all playful. They are, they are playful. They are flirty. They are undercover freaks and shit. Like, I'm like, what the fuck you mean? Aquarius ain't playful and, 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 and ain't flirty. It don't have no chemistry. What? I was like, bitch, where? Okay. Bitch, where? Must can't be here. Come on now. Stop giving that motherfucker power. Release that shit and take your shit back. Pop pussy like a foe foe. Okay? Let's give me one more. One more. And then we up out. We up out. Ooh. Ooh, Aquarius. My Aquarius ladies. Go get your hair done over. Go put some cute little streaks in your hair. Some go. I like her hair. Go get your hair done. Go get your hair done, girl. Go get your cute little dress and dress for success, girl. All right. Give Aquarius guidance. King of Cups. King of Cups in reverse. That goddamn King of Cups. I told you, you need some water. Oh, it's 
a cancer. It's a cancer that, that came up in y'all energy and just. Okay, I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was a king of cups. That that's why y'all so damn drunk. Yes, it was a fucking cancer. Boom, cancer, cancer, cancer. Oh my Jesus. Okay, and now I understand why y'all so dry. Y'all pour all the water out. You like, I don't want none of this shit. I don't want no more water, nothing. Ain't got nothing to do with no cancers, no water signs, no nothing, bitch. I'll just be dry out here. Let me, uh-uh, let me dry myself out. Y'all done had a cancer that just done, did y'all real dirty. Did y'all dirty, 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 dirty. Girl fucking love. If this ain't cancer all in the flesh, King of Cups in reverse. This is a like emotional little <sighs> This is a little emotional little bitchy bitch ass nigga. Like on oh God, like. But this motherfucker's smart. You see that dolphin down there? They know what they're doing and they are very emotionally manipulative. This little fucking crabby, emotional, bitchy ass little fucking oh no, honey. And had the nerve. With their emotional frail ass. And you know how Aquarius is. Aquarius will get your ass together. So it's like you out here being little, little sweet meat. You being out here street meat, sweet meat. You sweet out here. Anybody can get you. What? This person was just out here being a player. A player. Little Mac Daddy. Daddy Mac, okay? In the dark, lurking around, riding around, riding around on this horse. And the crab is right there at the bottom. Do you not see him? Do you not see him? And this person stopped offering their cup to you because they was galloping out in the night doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do with their little crab ass. Fuck that bitch ass nigga, crab and the burrow ass motherfucker. Look at you on your chariot with your cancer sign all proudly represented on your back. Your goddamn, your chariot is broken. You riding in a bucket. Should have said fuck it. You spend more clothes. You spend more money on your clothes and your appearance so you can appear strong. But your carriage ain't even stable. And you on rocky roads. Your path all fucked up. You don't even, like, What? You didn't know if you was coming or going with this person. One minute this person was cool with you. Was feeling like this person loved you. And in the blink of an eye, as soon as the person walked out of the door, that motherfucker wouldn't talk to you for about like three, four, five days. You're like, what the fuck? I, like, didn't we just have sex? I thought, what? What? If y'all need that cancel on. Ugh. Uh. I love your curves. If this made any sense, if this resonated with y'all, that is the person that's been keeping you indecisive. What is this saying? That was that person. You need to take your heart back from this motherfucker. This person don't know how to love. What is this? This person kept juggling you. Well, you were feeling envious because you never knew where this person was. This bitch was everywhere. Do you hear Miss Ivory Lennox screaming in the background? You misleading, deceiving. I'm leaving your ass. I ain't envious no more. Fuck you, bitch. Okay? You're not going to block my uh, blossoming abundance. You're not going to block my abundance no more. The door to romance has been open for me, bitch. Okay, what is this? The seventh chakra? Uh, Uriel, Uriel, whatever. I was not using my crown chakra. I didn't understand. I felt like Aquarius was looking for some type of understanding. They just needed to understand. Like, how did things just change? Like, this person's energy was just so in and out. And they wish they never even met this person last spring, okay? And like I said, this motherfucker was bro. <laughs> and this person left you. Left you broke. This person came into the situation broke. And you feel like this person robbed you. That's why when this other person is going to come to you. This king of pentacles. You like uh 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 No 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 no. You smell. You smell like you got broke all on you. And I already just walked away from somebody that goddamn robbed me bonds. Took my heart with him. 
and rob me blind. I ain't got no time. Listen, what is this saying? You got adjacent possibilities. You got open doors all around you. Open them. Enjoy. Go out and celebrate. Oh, true Knight of Pentacles. Someone that really got something solid is going to approach you and going to offer you something real. Something you can feel. I love y'all Aquarius. I'm up out of here. If this resonated, y'all make sure y'all goddamn hit me. All right, hit me down in the comments. Let me know is y'all was y'all dating a cancer? Like, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Come on, King of Cups, Knight of Cups with the king, with the crab, biggest day at the bottom, and then the chariot, the broken ass. I'm gone. I love y'all. If this resonated, if y'all want to drop a, a, a coin in the goddamn PayPal, y'all go ahead. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. Y'all let me know. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. And I hope, I'm praying that y'all end up on um, the bonus video. Because I want to see what the fuck is popping off, honey. I'll see y'all later. Peace.